we're very excited this morning that we joined by Governor Umoino's Senior Special Assistant on ICT and Digital Services. My friend, my brother, Dr. Frank Udoidoye. All right, Mr. Bush, good morning. Thank you for having me. So uh, this is you? Uh, yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's very troublesome. He has prepared me like this. Yeah. No, so you look really, really great. Government is good, though. I mean, if it's Pastor Moana, yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Francis and uh, Ime Emmanuel, they will yeah. be joining me to talk with you. But their family, your work, uh, even you are, your private uh, work, um, how is everything going with you? Yeah, I, th I think great. I think great. And first, you know, I, I can only thank God, you know, because, you know, um, Coming down here, you know, being an archival, doing what the things we do, you know, I think I think it can only be God. Absolutely. Yeah. And also, it's you know, it's one thing to you know to be appointed something, mm. another thing for you to have the you know the platform mm. you know, to be able to absolutely you know, to add value. Absolutely, I think, I think that is huge. That, that's that's huge for me, and it's something I'm really grateful for. You know, to God for, mm. and obviously the governor, Pastor Moreno, for mm. having the belief, you know, and, and to provide this this platform to for us to showcase what we can do. Fra really good. Yes, Francis takes over um, presently, first though. Let me just uh, round off with mm. my first question this round. And that, of course, would be about the first anniversary, the first 12 months yeah. of Pastor Umoino. Um, those celebrations were rounded off some 48 hours back in time. Mm -hmm. What manner of first anniversary has yeah. this been? What manner of governance has this been these last 12 months? I think, I, think I, um, I mean, this is, um, can I just start by saying, you know, um, you know, this morning I was just thinking, whoever name a quiet bomb, a quiet bomb, you know, God's own state. I think, I think it's wonderful. And I think God has responded. How has he done that? By giving us governors that really endear, you know, to the people. And, and Pastor Mona, in, in this case, has been just, just excellent. That's the word to put. You know, I saw a billboard somewhere. Someone mentioned that it's a bottom-up government. I mean, I, mean, I think it's a, the best way to start. You go to the grassroots, try and make sure the grassroots feel the impact of government, because that's where the votes, you know, come from. And that's why you see everybody very excited and very happy. And if you had visited the, you know, the grounds during the, the celebration, you will see it was very colorful. Again, this is because uh, people are, have come to accept, you know, that it's doing really well. And the projects, you know, touch the life of the average, you know, archive man. So I think, I think that, that that's a great thing. And perhaps that's the motivation and the reason people are quite excited and rate him so highly. Absolutely. Okay. Process. So, so let, let's look a little bit into your office, yeah. ICT. We are in the tech era yeah. and everything in governance. We're talking about, um, you know, computer-based tests, computer-based that, computer-based these. Mm -hmm. um, how has it been for you, you know, coming on board, helping a from state government, you know, stay relevant on the digital space? Yeah, I mean, I feel like a footballer, you know, <laughs> you know, because... Uh, from the outside, you will think a footballer is paid to do what he likes to do, right? Mm. So I think it's the same thinking here. I mean, I just enjoy doing anything at CT. I, I, I like that space, if you see what I mean. So to be given the platform to do it, you know, sometimes you just do it. And, and without even thinking, you know, where's the resources, but you've got to do it. So for me, you, you're paid to do what you like to do. Mm. But I think I should also sit here and give a lot of thanks. We've got a team. We've got people that work within, I'll call it a director, if you like. You know, they'll also play a key role. You know, Mr. Bush alluded to the bulk purchase agency, the food voucher, you know, scheme, etc. We've got a dedicated team of perhaps 10 persons doing different things, making sure it all works. And that's why I can sit here looking relaxed, you know, but there are people really looking behind the scene <laughs> and playing much more serious role. So, but, but for me, back to your original question, I think it's just doing what you like most. And, and again, that's why I'm, I'm perhaps so grateful to, to the governor, you know, to be given this platform to just showcase it. You know, for, for, for any time, I don't think I'm the best out there, you know, by any imagination, mm. you know, but I, I'm just so blessed by God that I can do it and I've been given the platform. Classic example of the house around, you know, whole, you know, round peg, you know, mm. that's what it is. Okay. No. So, okay, just just before you make comment, <laughs> okay. yeah. it is the modesty in your personality Absolutely. that just... Yeah, it's no choice. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. it's a Christian. Yeah. <laughs> he knows Christ. Yeah. 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 Really. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I love the fact that you added he knows Christ. Yeah. Because there are Christians who don't know Christ. 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 Well, go to Absolutely. church. Yeah. Okay, so um, Governor Pastor Omoino, one year in office, entrepreneurship has been um, one of the key um, agendas on its 
a rise instrument of uh, politics and policy uh, direction. Yeah. Um, the recent days, you know, one of the things that quite a huge population has been clamoring for is the Ibom Science Park. Mm -hmm. And I, I like to ask, as an ICT person, mm -hmm. take us into what we stand to get if that project kickstarts. If you ask me, you know, this is one of those you think that Science Park is in the head. You know, as an ICT person, what makes a Science Park? You need reliable power supply. Mm -hmm. You need the space to be able to walk a space that can inspire. You need very good internet connectivity. Mm -hmm. So if you ask me, yes, I mean, to the average person, you want to see a building called a science park, mm -hmm. right? But what for the same things that make a science park? <laughs> so in theory, the Bomlet, for example, is a science park. Mm -hmm. Whether we like it or not. Okay. You know, the only thing we just need to make that ready. And the governor has plans to, for example, re equip, you know, the computer there to make it workable. Other part, for example, the entrepreneurship, the training that's going on there. So yes, uh, I think if we can get the bomb led, you know, to, to be, you know, well equipped, that's a science part. For example, the governor alluded to using a section of the now the Emmanuel Towers, you know, floor of it to, to, to do an ICT up there, for example. You know, but but I think for the average acquired man, they're looking at the infrastructure that was left here. You know, to at, at, at the government house road to to think that 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 you know that need to be completed to be a science park. But in theory, if you look at men, one has come into acquired home state, huge investment in the state, huge infrastructure with the cable line and you know, you know, give it another eight months, that infrastructure would be available, and we're going to have huge you know bandwidth capacity coming into the state. That ticks one of the box of a science park. Mm -hmm. The next thing now is power. You know, obviously it's space, and that's why we're talking about land. That's why we're talking different things. So, but I think it's it's in the form, if you like, the, the the governor really wants to, you know, to make this work. He wants to have a place where young people, you know, can come in and still be inspired to earn a lot of money. Did you say Ibom led or Ibom led land? Ibom led the the, the Ibom leadership entrepreneurship you know okay. Uh, okay. yes okay so it's uh, Ibom e L E D, e -D. Yeah. yeah and it's one word yes okay yeah. great yeah. just for a screen uh, yeah. now I would like you to take us through um, your your journey has been appointed as SSA yeah. on ICT and how has it been working with the governor so far in the past one year. I think, again, uh, that, you know, that's why I gave the analogy of footballer, right? Yeah. You know, you just turn up and you play, and of the month you get paid. Simple as that, right? You know, you enjoy it. That's what you're there for. It's the same yeah. thing here. I really enjoy the thing I said. Yeah? And for me, for Pastor Man, not to be so deliberate in, in, in getting ICT to be involved in governance, I think it's a huge, huge God's grace. I, I'm not going to mince what. Okay. Because, uh, for example, the other 30 governors, a member of 35 governors, whatever, I have in Nigeria, that don't seem to do this. Yeah. But, but for the governor to, to, to ensure that every or um, most you know, services he's, he's offering, he sees how ICT can play a role, yeah. I think it's huge. I think it's huge. And for me, that has made this job very interesting, very exciting. The outlook is really good. Yeah. You know, for us, uh, and most people will tell you this. Most people in the field will tell you that this is not really about the money, but the joy to see people use uh, or use the things you you work on. I think it's excellent. You know, the other day during the commission of the model school seekers, yeah. you know, when you saw the young kids, you know, run around, you know, just by the governor. And for me, I don't think people have told this story very well. When when I was able to just look at the governor from where I was sat, and I could see the joy, I could see, you know, the the happiness to see a vision come to reality. And, and for me. And that's what we get as developers, as people building things, you know, to see people use what you build and does what it says it does. I, I think it's excellent. For me, that's made the journey straightforward. Now, for someone who has stayed outside the country and mm. seen how um, the young the young ones are really, really incorporated into, you know, the tech industry and they're really, really in, into it and they're actually benefiting from it. So yeah. What And as you're from your office, what are you doing to make sure that Nigeria, and I say Nigerians, with a quite mind, mm -hmm. probably secondary schools, are fully equipped with the basic, you know, digital knowledge, ICT knowledge. What are you, what is the office doing? No, know? I think, I think perhaps not directly my office, but the Ministry of Education, for example, if we look at some of the model schools, and this has gone past the model schools, I know they've delivered them with some tablets, you know, and reached their curriculum to ensure that, you know, young people are inspired and thought, you know, to be able to deploy and use ICT. So, 
they be asking me, yes, that, that's that's not directly my office, but you know, that that's a capability that, that's ongoing and that's a series that's ongoing. So so hopefully that will do that. But for my part, we've got a lot of young developers that we every now and then, you know, we get involved in what we're developing just to give them that real life experience of building something, you know, mentoring them and they'll be able to deliver. Is 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 venturing into ICT a difficult thing? And I'm asking that question because um, you, you you wake up in the morning, you get on social media, you get different um, aspects of training, you know, being posted, and then people kind of feel like it's rocket science to get into the tech space. So there's this mystery around it. I'd like for you to speak to that. Maybe. No, I, I don't. I don't think. I mean, like anything else, I don't think there's anything that's easy out there. I'll tell you that. I don't. I, I've not been able to pick anything that's so easy. <laughs> I, I, would, I would be doing it, you know. But perhaps what what you need to do is just the perseverance, like anything else. You know, whether you want to be a music director, you just need to practice more. You know, whether you want to be a footballer, you need to spend time more in the yeah, field. Yeah. You know, same thing with ICT. If you want to do ICT, then you need to spend time doing ICT. You need to. I don't know. Perhaps what you could say is maybe. You know, for example, the pathway to where you want to get to might not be that straightforward. Where do you start? But but the, to a greater extent, you can answer that question by understanding what really you like. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense, because you know sometimes, like anything in life, it gets really difficult. But because you love it, because you like it, then that will perhaps make you push a little bit further, which is sometimes what you need. So ICT is no, it's not rocket science. It's not difficult. You just need to start. You know, first step, for example, is making sure your computer. You know, literate, you know how to use a computer, you understand it, and by starting to use it, you will start to appreciate it and now start to see why you should do things certain ways, you know, perhaps, which is, you know, the next step. And maybe I should go back to your earlier question, and this is why we need to get children in school to, to start to use ICT. I visited um, a, a former government official, you know, some time ago, perhaps maybe in the last six months, and, and he was talking about his kids and said, well, my wife is always complaining that my kids don't have patience. Mm. They want things done really quick, really quick, really quick. <laughs> and the question is, and he had to call the wife and say, you know why that is? Because everything is touch. Everything is tablet. Mm. You know, they touch and, and they respect the response, you know. So there's no, there, there's no delay, if you see what I mean. So yeah. that experience is what they bring to real life. They want mm. everything quick because everything is touch and the response, touch mm. and the response. So mm. when they don't get that response, they are impatient. You know, so you can understand why that is the future. Some people call that Gen Z and Gen X and all sorts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we are now. But, but isn't there, isn't that dangerous? Mm -hmm. uh, because if you look at, you know, like even the arts that we see on, on, across different media platforms, mm -hmm. Um, kind of advising for people to learn new skill set yeah. in the tech space. Yeah. It's basically about get rich syndrome. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's like the moment you learn this particular tech skill, boom, you're going to be making millions of yeah. dollars, and then you're saving yourself and your family and generations out yeah. of poverty. Yeah. and it becomes frustrating when I talk to some young folks who who have gotten into this, you know, the tech space with this mindset. Yeah. I know of a friend who has been into spec, mm -hmm. you know, for the last um, twelve years, and he just got his first break. Mm. This year and travel mm. out of Aquapu. He, he was based in Aquapu, just yeah. traveled out. But this is somebody who has gone through hell because people kind of felt like, is it not the same text that you say once you have a text yeah. skill, you know, the next moment you're a multimillionaire? Yeah. I mean, I mean, what you call hell, like all that experience, right? Mm. Mm. That's mm. the fact. I mean, like Absolutely. anything else, you got to mm. work out for it. Yeah. So, you know, I'm sat here looking relaxed, looking chill like anything. Mm. You know, the times you like, you know, scratching your head. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what you call hell, that's the experience. I tell you that it's as simple as that, and, and believe me, and that's what we pay for the experience, and, and that's that's what it is. Now there are a lot of young young and um, acquired yeah. Sometimes you you you're on the news and you're hearing of them, um, EFCC, you know, picking up some boys who are involved in cyber crimes mm -hmm. and all of that. And then how do we talk to? How do we find a, a landing space or a hub where we can bring these guys who are involved in these cyber crimes to become beneficial and useful to the society and as a group. I don't think, if you ask me, I don't think there's any platform where you have like a body, you know, looking at this, etc. I mean, I read it on the pages of newspaper. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've seen the news in Aquibum. Forgive me if there are. There, there is. No, no, no. But, yeah. but I, think, I think for me, it's, again, why we can't speak to any particular case, you know, they actually do exist that people do cyber stuff, people and do crimes about the cyber space. I mean, that's there. But having said so, anybody that's Genuinely interested in learning ICT is, is, 
should do that knowing that it's not a crime. I think I think that's what it, that's what it is. Mm. You know, mm. even hacking, there's ethical hacking, which is you can learn to hack ethically, you know, doing mm. it right. So the the, the product, better ways to do things. And okay. Then, yeah. Very well. Yeah. So we've got some small eighteen dot five small minutes before it's TikTok uh, top of the hour in Ibiakuran, in the heart of Urwan local government area of Akwa Ibom State, which itself is in the south south of Nigeria on the west coast of the continent of Africa. And there is this special series we've been running in honor of Governor Umoino of Akwaibom State's first anniversary. He's Senior Special Assistant on ICT and Digital Services, Dr. Frank Udoi Payong is live with us, um, rounding off the series and um, looking into the future. So let's, let's come. What, what manner? of uh, 12 months uh, were those and what manner of governor because i'd asked that question i'm not sure that i i didn't really did take that answer and when you look at all the things that a quiet has been through what this governor has been through what manner of man is he now because i remember asking you on radio whether you think it is the same uh pastor moino who was candidate moino you know uh, or and the one now yeah. you know so what has happened within the last 12 months Good question. I'm just thinking, how do I start that? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, I think, I think, again, it's just good leadership, mm -hmm. perhaps, you know. But for me, I think, I don't think you can give what you do not. Well, that's a better way to start. You know, this is what is God, and God has just magnified it. And perhaps, I think we can all say God knew before he made him big or what it is. I mean, if you've read his book, you know, which you need to send this data, which is long the night. You know, for someone to go through so many court cases mm. and still be here. The 49. Oof, I think, I think, I think it's huge. And mm. perhaps that just tells you this was God's plan. Uh, Barrister Naidem, uh, SAN, made a statement in church the other day, and he said, look, you know, when you even see the, the primaries, the convention, and, and the delegate, he had a special delegate, you know, <laughs> to, to board it, you know. Yeah. That just tells you again, it's God's grace and God's, God's making. So God knew what he was able to offer. But talking in terms of the performance, he has a compassionate heart. I think I think that's the word that that's going to become very, very used, you know, used very often and repeatedly. So, uh, if you look at the, for example, the the rice homes, you know, for the compassionate. If you look at the bursary, you know, if you look at the food voucher, you know, uh, through the apartment bulk purchase agency. If you look at even the grower scheme, you know, what they are. If you look at all this bit, it, it stems from a position of compassion. You know, one billion. I think that's what government should be about. So maybe. That's a good reason why, uh, um, you know, he's scoring so many points. Francis? Well, um, I, I still, I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll follow up from what the book, um, which has asked this mm. morning. Governor Pastor Moino has invested, no doubt, in a whole lot of sector, and um, ICT is like the new thing. I'd like to ask, you, you mentioned in your earlier um, analysis this morning what the Minister of Education is doing. One of those who believe that we need to overhaul the educational system from the primary level. I mean, just yesterday I was, I was going through the internet and somebody said Nigerians, graduates, master degree holders are tapping, you know, on screen because of what a 12 year old in China created. Graduates in Nigeria are tapping, master degree holders are tapping. So, can, can we get to a point where a five of children? Can be that innovative and inventive. But I didn't, I didn't know that innovative. You know, no, 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 not, not, they are, but mm. can we get to a point where we have a larger scale, you know, that enabling environment being created? So that comes to your office. Is there a platform, a collaboration between your office and that of the uh, Ministry of Education where we can, you know, have these kinds of ideas speak from the grassroots? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean that, that's huge. I mean, huge in the sense that the mandate is huge. You know, I haven't got that mandate. <laughs> my, mandate my, my mandate is very specific and, and very clear to the point. Okay. You know, as you can imagine, I'm assisting the governor in ICT. Right? And you're on a street of mandates. Uh, which is what I just told you. I could, it couldn't be anywhere summarized on mm. that. I'm assisting the governor in ICT. There's no... There's no so I may be in the digital space. Mm. So yes, the, the the governor wants to run something. He has ambition. He has a plan, and he said, "Look, I think I see you can do this. What do you think? Yes, sir. Should we do it? You know, and we do it. That, that's it. But I haven't said what you said. If I could, if I could, maybe this is not my photo. This is not my area. But recall that it's got a plan to send some kids, you know, to London, yeah. you know, etc. 
for me, I started by, I mean, I mentioned here, you can't give what you don't have. Yes. And, and when you're talking about inspiration and getting acquired from kids to, to inspire, to be innovative, it's going to come from a place. You have to have something. You have to, you know, you've got to have that eureka moment thing. And, and you can't have that if that exposure is not there. Okay. So I think, for example, an initiative like this, you know, provide will provide will maybe open that door for some of those kids to start to think that way. Mm. You know, I mean, sometimes I just I just sit down. For example, Facebook. You know, who created Facebook? How did he come? I mean, 10, 15, 20 years ago, there was not like Facebook, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. so, well, look at me, everybody's doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, so it could happen in different notch and scale and, and all that. So I think I think the way God has created this whole world, we just have that freedom to innovate. You know, I'll tell you that. And perhaps. Government is not really government's mandate to, to to force people to innovate. Yes, they can create an enabling environment, they can inspire people, they can do things, but ultimately it's down to individuals you know, to be able to just say, this is what I want and this is how I want to do it. I can tell you that. For example, I'm sat here, if, if five years ago, if anyone told me government, mm. I'll cost you. Mm. I mean, I'll cost you, cost you. Mm. <laughs> you know, but, 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 yeah, this is where I am now, so it's what it is. We just need to enable ourselves, get as much skill as you can get, and when the opportunity knock, you know, you're ready to, to jump at it. That's what it is. Yeah, let's talk, no, let's just stay with the children. Okay. Um, yeah. If it's governor, uh, I was going to ask uh, the question in a rather cynical way, uh, but still optimistic. Um, mm. Is it not too children-centric, too, too child-friendly, too children-friendly, this governor? Oh, I mean, you can ask that to Jesus. Like, what did he say? <laughs> you know, yeah, for example, What's an answer? yeah, you can ask that to Jesus. You know, he said, no, no, the little little one, let them come. But this is how the kingdom of God will be. I mean, so that's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, amen. Okay, I was. Uh, uh, let me ask you: the your office and um, public service mm -hmm. was collaboration because you enter, you go into most uh, ministries in the mm -hmm. states, and you find out that. They are still struggling with ICT. They are still struggling. To, mm. A lot of people have gone digital. They are still struggling to get onto the digital space. What is the collaboration with your office and the public service in Akwa? What what exactly does your office do? Yeah, yeah, we do what the governor wants to do. What well, else ask us to do? You know, using deliver ICT to do it. Mm. Like that. Okay. But, but that's a very good question because I'll, I'll tell you what. Allow me to use the food voucher scheme as an example. You know, what, what we've done, it's, it's a really interesting, you know, uh, subject. The, the, we have tablets, you know, to the governor's ward PA, and again, and again, you know, what uh, an idea to be able to appoint ward PAs. At the yeah. point, those people were appointed, I'm sure people thought it was waste of resources, but these guys are the one taking the message to the grassroots. Come back again to the story of the food voucher, right? And the initial plan, I sat on that committee. The initial plan was quite simple. We wanted to print a social register, you know, to ward PAs, oh. right? You know, print it on hard copy. And I'm talking 2.5 million people. So imagine that I'm in Excel, you print it at last volume, right? Yeah. And it means I have to print it to 368 persons. Mm -hmm. And then I have to have, like, for example, four copies. The ward PA will have a copy. Ministry of Economy will have a copy, ICT will have a copy, the agency will have a copy. The governor's have office will have, have a copy, copy you know. And, and when they have to issue vouchers, they're going to flip and the ticket voucher, blah, 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 blah. And I'm talking a lot of money here, right? And, and we sit in this committee and tell the governor, look, we need to print such a register. And they say, look, I don't understand that. You print this thing, this guy takes it outside and then beats it up. You, you, copy. you come back again with this money? No, 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 no. What about even the data? You know, this is people's data. Do you just open them and flip them the way you like? No, I don't. I don't agree. I don't agree. You know, we we need to get tablets for these people. You know, the temptation is there for you guys or anybody out there to think that you know we're using ICT because it's ICT that went to the governor. It's a lie. I'm telling you exactly what happened. And he said, look, this is not economical. This is not meaningful. Now. Social register to get updates. As I sit here, I mean, last night I got an update from Bo to be able to push through. How do you now print another one? It's not economical. Can we get tablets? And someone sat in the meeting and said, Look, oh yeah, I'll just check a tablet is 30,000 naira, which was wrong. And yeah, we can do that. Why can't we do that? You know, and we went towards implementation. I took about this uh, this things are not thirty thousand. What is thirty thousand is some child thing. Mm. Tablets are never yeah. thirty thousand. Yeah, yeah, it can be. Ooh, but I think it's still good value. We can do it. And wow, wow. And believe me, that decision unlocked this entire thing we're looking at the food voucher. Because what it now meant is that 
We could do a tiny bit of help, put it on the tablet. We can now, the, the, the vouchers have QR codes. We can now load social register digitally, mm. you know, onto the tablet and you only load the ones you need and you can, you have to log in to reveal them, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I can go on and on, but I want to go come back to your question, which is how do you get people that are not ICT compliant? Yeah. Well, yes, right? As you can imagine, this guy, the requirement was never ICT skills. You know that, right? Yeah, definitely. They were yeah, just... So it, meant, it now became a challenge, a huge one. How does this guy use a tablet? And now does he even know what we're doing? So the requirement was, you have to build, they have to be so simple and non-intimidating. Mm. That's one. And two, you know, allow them to log in and use this tablet. So for me, the answer to this question is, if we continue and if the government, government continue, to offer some services to ICT, people are forced to come up. A good example, your banking apps. Yeah. I mean, tell me someone that doesn't use an app now. You have to tell me someone that hasn't got a name or a VPN. You have to. So these services, the fact that the, you need them to be able to access government service will force you to up your game. And and that for me, it's a key key. It just forces you to be interested. Mm. So that is the policy that is silent but it's gone going mm. if you see what i mean and also if you remember the dialogue the archive on dialogue we had you know when he came in as governor that's one of the key recommendations that there's a lot of services you know would have to be you know offered digitally to force people to start to be ict aware and that's what i think it's better and that's what we're going as well yeah but the next question was how then do you partner other Public departments um, yes. minis uh, ministries and again, agencies of government? again i i i i mean you know i i don't i don't have a mandate put it that way i don't mm. wake up in the morning and say minister of this uh, mm. i'm coming mm. to you it doesn't mm. happen mm. you know it's just what the governor wants to run, run. So I, th I think those are mm. maybe the minister of science and tech can do that mm. if they have them i don't have it you know mm. my mandate is quite straightforward which is I'm here, so what do you want to do today? Absolutely. <laughs> so you, you don't have the, the, the responsibility or the no. description to give an advice to the governor based on ICT. Uh, if, if, there's a, if, if there's a need to. Mm. But again, I have to stress, I'm assisting the governor yeah. on ICT. So he has to, he runs the show. Okay. Mine is just to pick it and drop. Okay, let, yeah. let's go down to something you said, the social register mm -hmm. and all of the technology around it yeah. because if you've paid attention to the media particularly mm -hmm. radio stations mm -hmm. i get that call every time yeah. why can't we locate who and who and who in our local government area in our ward yeah. is on the social register yeah. people will tell you we've looked around we cannot lay hands and, and unfortunately which i i, I must stick here <laughs> Not just a quiet mic, mm. Nigerians. I think mm. we need to get to a point that when we are beneficiaries of government programs, we also call on air and yeah. let people know yeah. that we are benefiting. Yeah. Yes. But I, I can't recall in the last six months getting a call from anybody who says, yes, I'm on the social register. Yeah. I am a beneficiary yeah. of you know what the government in partnership with uh, other agencies. You, you know, that social register thing, let, yeah. let me jump in. It's not even for the guests to say so that it doesn't seem as if it's government speaking. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not a cultural thing. It's not a thing that our people... We'll be, uh, we'll be proud of. Yeah. Do you understand? So yeah. what the governor has done is just to just go ahead and help those who need help. Yeah. It is going to be difficult. One, for people you call the poor of the poorest to step forward and say, yes, yes. I've collected. Yeah, That's okay. number one. So this idea of expecting people to call to say, no, if uh, Francis, if you were the one that you say, well, we're sending this to the poor of the poorest, will you show your hand? Yeah. What even about the people who are not among the poor of the poorest, but they are collecting? Yeah. Would they show for their yeah. Finally, number three, please. And it's important to get this point. Yeah. Who in this world has ever said I have money? Even if the governor gave me money yesterday and my wife will ask me today for money as the governor, I'll say he didn't give me. <laughs> so you do not expect anybody to call and say, so all these things we are doing, we just go around the circle. But Mr. Bush, it makes it look like it's not genuine. No, no, no. I'm not even if, going there. If people are not coming out, I, I, yes, I know, but we yeah. should have data that okay we, we because it makes it looks like the government are not it may, when it. you are paid by uh, by TAF come on air and say I've just been paid my salary <laughs> I think let's, let's make it this way you know again I, I wanted to explain this process but I sort of skipped it mm. the world PA takes a, a, you know receives some vouchers and the vouchers are clearly marked you know and those vouchers are for this world mm. and on this on this tablet it's got a list of people mm. that should receive this phone number household for example in house he has the father the mother the child with this etc it goes there he can't issue this voucher to anybody he yes. has to issue through, to do this through, through the social register through the tablets on the social register and, and again what he does is 
you are Mr. Milken, right? And he selects you, scan the vouchers, Mr. Milken takes a picture and sign. So we have tons of data that people that are in social that have received us. Mm. Well, as you can imagine, data protection mm. is absolutely. very important. Yeah, absolutely. And, and also the agency has got a monitoring unit, but they do the sit down and call. We, we're almost thinking of stopping the call because it's meaningless. You know, mm -hmm. you've got the numbers, right? Mm -hmm. Mr. Kohn, did you get a vote? Yeah, I did. Thank you. I said, young pastor, man. No, Amen. But they're Amen. there. But, but... And another thing that you've done yeah. that are quite good people, yeah. whether we are at home or abroad, we should just thank you and thank the governor, thank the government. That idea of not bringing paperwork into it. Into yeah. it yeah. would have just totally messed up Agreed. the entire thing. In yeah. fact, you would have seen pictures, videos. Agreed. Hey, see, your name is here. Your name Agreed. is here. Agreed. So it's just a, a master <laughs> yeah. that. I think also what yeah. we've not said, how they redeem the money. I think, I think it's wonderful to tell you that. Mm -hmm. For me, this this is huge achievement. And I just, I just go to bed sleeping mm -hmm. happy. You know, when those guys, because what happens is that, you know, an agent that sells rice, Gary Beans, is loaning money to government. Mm. So this guy stands up with a voucher, he gives them rice, Gary Beans, or whatever. He hasn't collected any money. Mm. And he needs to come back again to government to get this money. When he comes, beautiful process. Mm. You know, our, our people, our agents, I'll call them till officers, we take the vouchers. First of all, identify that you are the agent that owns that account. You get an OTP on your phone, you get back the OTP, the login. And they start to scan the vouchers and you can use a voucher twice you can mm -hmm. imagine you know scan the vouchers you know you populate your account you print out a, a, an invoice for you invoice. you see how much you're owed by government and you know the accountant verify does a fiscal count of these vouchers and tick them off and confirms on the system it goes to the gm the general manager okay Z, the chairman okay come back to accountant accountant but by the time you walk out of the door you got to like hmm. it's that stressful and simple i mean that's why Believe me, if it wasn't working, I know your studio would be getting called. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just still, still on the issue of getting calls, yes. um, upgrading the social register yeah. is, is another thing. So how often is the social register? And if, if that falls within your office, actually, how often and how easy is it for you to update the social okay, register? Okay, and I think, I think you put a caveat there, I'm going to exploit. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't fall in my office. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I need mean, it because I do probably my fall on the administrator. Yeah, but, but, but like now, every now and then they send me out. Oh, yeah, because we have to. And 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 I, this is what I tell the world peers and anyone that wants to listen. I don't know how social registers are made. My office doesn't know how they're made. My office doesn't know what they're made of. We just get data, mm -hmm. and but the data we have to make sure it's a certain format, and we just push it through, you mm -hmm. know, so that they can work with our systems, and and that's all we do with it. You know, the content, the look, the type, the frequency of update, not not my. I think it's Ministry of you know Economy and Development. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, still time check. Just um, a few nan nanoseconds. Just nanoseconds before we get to the top of the hour and um, still rise and shine special program flagship program on Spectrum TV, right here, Tough Media Group. And uh, this morning, the program is even more special because the other stations, the other uh, two stations, the two other stations of the TAF bouquet are on with us, Planet 101.1 FM and uh, Tangsi 102.7 FM. I think at this point, we can throw open the phone line so that uh, the caller, the viewer can come in, the listener can also come in. We discuss discussing looking into the future governor moino has just recently celebrated or he recently celebrated his first anniversary so he's two days into his second year of the first term he's ssa on ict and digital services dr frank Rudolf Peyon is here with us on sets and we are discussing some of these matters as they come to us Okay, as we await the first calls, and um, we can also start uh, a movement around the world. We should go to Ibiakuran. Well, that's where we are now. We also <laughs> should go to Abuja. Yes, okay, so Ibiakuran. Okay, mm. they, they prefer with you. <laughs> it's not in Uyo, it's, it's in Ibiakuran. <laughs> okay, so our first man is on, and that's our brother, Dan Chris Ebie. Yes, welcome again on set. Dr. Frank Udoy-Penyong is here, your friend. Um, whether it's in Lagos or in Uyo, what do you think about his work, um, the way he has deployed ICT and indeed digital services to help Governor Moino these past 12 months and then going into the future? Dan. Welcome, bro. Welcome, bro. 
Thank you, thank you so much. You know, again, great question. Some of it we've already perhaps thought on, on while we're here. And, and I think if I if I heard the question quite well, you know, what are we doing with the e-library? Correct? Yeah, yes. I think that's the question. Again, uh, the e-library is where the boom led is, is you know, situated now. And, and uh, again, I don't hold brief for boom led or any of them, but I recall very well that they turned about 400 persons, I think, and, and the government, they, they empower them for their own businesses. So the library has become a bomb led now, at least part of it has become a bomb led. But the second part, which is what I've just mentioned, you know, the, the governor has shared his plans even in the speech. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, you alluded to a test for this, test for that. Mm -hmm. You know, he plans to equip the place with perhaps, you know, uh, 300, uh, 300 plus computers to enable testings. You know, for example, jam test centers, you know, civil service promotion test centers, all manner of test centers, you know, you know, right there. So that's what you get with the perhaps e library now, e bomb led, you know, you know, plus this. And obviously the test center will work in conjunction with bomb led, which can also be used to train people, you know, yes, you know, on, on, on ICT. So that is the governor's uh, plan and vision for that. Then, you know, the second question was what are we doing to make sure ICT goes into the villages and deploy using it? You know, if you ask me again, it's, it's all about creating that need for people to want to use ICT. Now, whether we like it or not, everyone is using ICT. They're just not saying it. You know, if you have a phone, <laughs> you're assessing one service or another, you're using ICT. So we need to create as many services as possible. Government services. For example, you turn on a hospital, you know, you, you will use an ICT. You want to book an appointment, you use ICT. Just like you use your phone you know, to be able to do transfers, you know, etc. So it's the same thing. And uh, uh, as far as the governor, you know, Mr. Bush was say looking forward, you know, the governor has plans to do a lot more services. For example, if you look at his commission, the health centers, and, and it's not just an infrastructure, but even ICT has a role to play there. You know, very shortly, he will be deploying or launching the use of um, some uh, medication management system whereby you can manage patients, medications, you know, who gets what, etc. So, so those are some aspects of ICT that will perhaps go into, you know, into, into the villages. And also, if you recall, when he talked about the grace estate in lunch as well, mm -hmm. you know, civil servant between grade one to eight would have to, you know, uh, do an expression of interest and be selected to own properties there. We have a role to play in that as well, which is still ICT. So mm -hmm. the more of the services you bring, 
you know, on board will force people to start to consider, I mean, using that city. That, that's for me, I think it's a better approach. You just talked now about Grace uh, Estate. Yeah. When we saw those pictures, mm -hmm. I was wondering, is there some magic to it? Were those built within 12 months? You know what? You see, you see, before you you would know this better than I do. You know, before the governor speaks, it's, there's quite a lot going on the ground. I can tell you that. You know, there's quite a lot, and and this is things that he's been working on. And and for me, I think it, I think it works too much. If I'm allowed to use that word, <laughs> you know. And and this is why we're seeing these dividends. You know, the the plan for that estate, and that's why it, it took time to explain why grace. Because a lot of people are going to own their properties they did not pay mm. for. They're going to get it free. You mm. see what I mean? So, mm. so yes, it, in theory, it's a miracle. Of is is this it? This, are we getting yeah. pictures from? Yes, I think I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. That's wow. the area of view. Yeah, the area of view. Yeah. Wow. So, so a lot of people are going to own this home. And it's in two local area. government areas. Yes. In Corner and Ibiyanibo. Yes. That's, Whoa. That's what I was told. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's amazing. I think I think it's just. You know, wow. This was, I mean, it's another example of bottom up, you know, and, and that's what we're all yeah. about. Okay, so let's allow the 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 um, the listener or the viewer to uh, mm -hmm. join us uh, where possible. We should have the number on the screen. Yeah. But for the radio audience, it's uh, 0704 541 7707. A radio audience, it's okay, it's already there on the screen now. Mm -hmm. 0704 541 7707. Keep your conversation quite short. And uh, what do you want to say? Any moment now, we'll be going to the United States, where our man in Norbong Omoite would join us live from Wisconsin. Before it comes, okay, so now let's start to look into the future, Dr. Frank Epeyon. Is that a caller? Hello. Hello, good morning. Can you be more audible? No, it's not even, uh, that person is not even on air. Is the person on air? Hello. Okay. okay, so yeah, um, please keep keep trying to reach us oh seven oh four five four one seven seven oh seven. Um, we'd like to take you on this conversation as we look at how the governor has deployed ICT to better things, to better the welfare, to better the lot of our quite boom people. Okay, so uh, let's look into the future. What do you see with this governor um, or? Would you, as uh, Francis would always say, that we are, we hope the governor has not expended all his energy in the first year? I think uh, I think Francis will be disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, and I pray to be disappointed. Yeah, you will be disappointed. I mean, you can't start this good and cool it down, can mm. you? No, no, no. I think you see. I don't know. I've just given you an example, and and, and this is my observation. He didn't say this, or no one said this. During the CKS launch, I told you this, you know, the kids, etc. I was able to view from an angle the excitement in his face. Mm. I think, I think, written all over him was great. And you want more of that. If, if I was him, I'll want more of it. You see what I mean? So that's enough sport. That's enough motivation, Hello. you know, to keep delivering. Okay, Dr. Let's proceed. Office caller. Hello. Many thanks for joining us. We know where you're calling from. Hello. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. I, are you ready now? <laughs> We're all ready. ready. Go ahead. You're ready. Ready. Where are you calling from? Uh, I can give you more about Sergeant to forever calling from you. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, please, um, I congratulate you people over there in the studio. Uh, Mr. Mr. Bush, which he has nothing to do with Bush, but that name sounds so, so, so loud. And uh, Francis and uh, the other person in the studio. The will of God is part of what you are doing. And the rise and shine is not just ordinary. It's not, it's, not the, 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 it's not from the sky, not from the moon, not from the sun, but the glory of God. And that is the will of God for us. By the grace of God, uh, God wants us in Aqua Basibum State to lead the world. Now, but uh, I want us to know, please, for God's sake, because there was somebody some, um, some months ago, during this government that uh, tried to present uh, Arise and Dakada as uh, an acronym, which is being dropped now, thank God, because during by December, I think they were, they were quoting, the, uh, it was, they, during the service, it was quoted, uh, at the, you know, at the program, uh, Isaiah 63, 
I mean Isaiah 60, which is actually the arise and shine. God wants us to lead our generation, not just Aquaibon, not just Nigeria, but the whole world. And that's why what's called, the Kadaris was called arise and shine. For thy light has come and the glory of the Lord is, is, is you me. know, is until and that in the process of rising. It's just like seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then every other thing shall be added. That's what arise and shine is all about. Please, I want us to take this note because every other thing, whether agriculture or whether uh, ICT or any other thing, uh, is addition. And then we will excel when the foundation is very sure on our Savior. Since Jesus died many years ago, up till now, we still hear the story that people are still dying, dying, dying. He didn't die for us to die. And God, God's expectation is the people of Akwaibum to truly arise like the prodigal son, going back to our Father. It's well recorded in the Holy Bible, specifically in the First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 22, that whoever will not love the Lord Jesus my Christ is an anathema. And uh, by the grace of God, does, God doesn't want us to be. Now, at the moment, the, the national anthem of Nigeria has been changed from Arise to uh, Nigeria, we hear the. That doesn't, will not solve the problem until we return back to our Father who is in heaven. That's the true Arise and Shine. It's only God can make us to shine. And I'm, I'm ambition is to see, like God having, a, you know, not, not long ago, the, the, a deacon handing over to a pastor. It's not the title, it's the matter. It shows that the thing is purely spiritual. So that the moment we get the spiritual foundation, then we, we take over our generation so that what belongs to us, we possess our possession and become what God has created us to become. Well, I want to pause here, but more will come by the grace of God so that people will know that uh, Arise and Shine is not just the political gimmick, but for us to return back to our Father who is in heaven that belongs to all of us in the world, but God wants to use Aquaibum people to let the light shine for the whole world. My name is Aquaibum. Right. Th thank you so much, Akemi Yubawabase. Thank you. Yeah, so, uh, is that enough? So he, was talked, um, he was discussing the, the spiritual end of yeah. things, and you would love that, the back end of the spirit. Get into the spirit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we're already, we're always in the spirit, right? But I think for me, it, it, it's just making a lot of sense. The sense comes from the fact that, I mean, this is why I alluded to when I come, you know, coming here, I told you, you know, I'm not sure how we got came by the name of Quite Woman's mm. God yeah. instead, and that's what it's alluding to. And that perhaps what we also need to, perhaps what is not said there is, you know, the fact that the previous governor, uh, you know, mentioned that kind of that and this one arise you know again i think that's what he's alluding to there they kind of confirm it's not a mistake it's not an accident so we're doing great things and perhaps we can lead the other states in the federation yeah so what are you looking to see in the future those of you who are in uh, the back end who are the back end who are if you like in the bedroom of power what are you looking to see what can you tell archival people to look forward to seeing in the second in the third fourth uh is there going to be fifth, sixth, seven, eighth years? Oh, by God's good, that's the plan, right? I mean, you, you couldn't do this well and expect to just, you know, put it out for the plan to take a full cycle. Another caller. Hello. But just um, keep my question in the cooler as we take this caller. Hello. Many thanks Hello. for joining us. Where are you calling from? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, you please. Are. Please go ahead. Hello, are you there? I think we lost connection there. Okay. Okay. My question. Yeah. Which was? What was my question again? Even me. What's so. your? Yeah. What are you looking forward to see? Looking forward How, to what see? should the people yeah, expect? Yeah. Yeah. If you even said it's going to be a seven or eight. I said mm. yes. You can't do our mm. work just stuff. Mm. We, we plan to. I think. I think if you started well, we just so by now the mark has been set. You know. So every every appointment, should just believe that there's more and more and more to come. Um. Mm. In, Okay. You answer. You answer. You say hello. Welcome to the program. You say, let's see how it sounds in your mouth, broadcaster. <laughs> oh, you mean? Yes. Hello, welcome to the program. <laughs> yeah, where are you calling from? Uh, this is Jida Harry. This is who? Jida Harry from Abuja. Oh, right. Jida Henry Jida from Henry. Abuja. Go, Go ahead. ahead, please. Oh, oh, oh. Abuja lights. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, so, so, you know, we expect he, he just has to keep, the, I mean, for example, yesterday, you, know, you could argue or it's a first day in the second year, right? Mm. You would think he just take a chill pill and don't do anything and relax. But yesterday, he was out there, you know, inspecting the Arise Park, you know, the gully erosion, the bad erosion spot now converted into some, you and know, power. park, etc. He was there, you know, for, for, for long hours. You know, so again, for me, you could see the project that is dear to his heart. It really wants to turn up five more round. It really wants to. And for me, that, that, that's big. That's big. There's that's also big. the thing about um, some beautiful concepts you, the administration, the governor has brought mm. into, for instance, the education sector. Yeah. Is he going to replicate that um, edifice, that beauty? At uh, CK. Hello, good morning. Is he going to be able to replicate even the primary uh, health yeah. care centers yeah. that he's done? Hello, this is Colin. Morning. Yes. Many thanks for joining us. Where are you calling from? Yes, please. Uh, my name is Amao uh, Konyatim. Greeting, Mr. Boss. Greeting our honorable uh, speaker of People's Parliament. Good morning. Amma, you don't have so much time. You have one minute. Okay, I want to ask one question, please. Go ahead. Um, I want to ask the personal assistant about the... Is a senior special assistant, not personal assistant, senior okay, special assistant. The senior personal assistant. This my issue is about the... The, uh, the, uh, the what do you call the... Bulk purchase? Yes. Special register. The program the is not picking everybody. Right now, I'm talking to you that I'm in the irregularities on the social purchase. Uh, I was talking to you, that's what is going on. Instead of the three vouchers, they are giving out to some people and make them to sign that they have collected it. Uh, so instead of giving rights, they were giving this and saying there's no rights. So there's a lot of irregularities over there. The social rights has to really commence again to see that they not say everybody that in need. Somebody like me has not been captured. I have been trying to the government to come to my sister and please to do something. Okay, okay ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You got that. Let's um, feedback. Yes, that. Um, you get some people get rice instead mm. of beans, etc. Mm. Again, uh, of, <laughs> I mean, a software don't tell you what you get. That's Absolutely. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's no ICT and digital yeah. service. Yeah. Yeah. The work peer, the, the work peer decides. Yeah, I sure. mean, this this is the story, right? We, and perhaps we should we should <laughs> say that, that a software does not. Say <laughs> <laughs> so what you get. Decide. <laughs> You're gonna get your rice. <laughs> No, 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 I think, I think, I think for me, you know, this is probably we should say this, you know, this guy is the word PA, mm. the bulk purchase agency didn't want to issue all the vouchers in one go. They, okay. they gave a portion of it, a percentage, right? And, and you're told to, let's see how this goes. Mm. I mean, it, it's also a test. A test. So right. Let's see whether you'll be faithful. Mm. All right. We've got some word PAs. The governor alluded to it in his, in his media party the other day mm. that a sort of gone around the, 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 the register. Back. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'll tell you that for free. They just take these vouchers. PS to the government. Yes, they take go to an agent. That, that goes back. To, sorry to yeah, cut you down. Yeah. That goes back to what I said the last yeah, time. The Some people. People, people within the government yeah. trying to sabotage what the yeah. government is doing. So, so th that, that, that for me, that, that's a big headache, right? Because you think these are government employees, they should follow the rules. Exactly. They, they go around it. And they don't even give it to, to the vulnerable. Mm. They take it to an agent and say, look, go get this money. And perhaps they will split it. But when exactly. the agent comes back, we can see vouchers that have been given. So this is a general fourth thing is not going to get those monies. Is it punishment for 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 those people? Punishment yeah. is a lose one, right? Mm. Because but well, the least we can do is don't pay you. Absolutely. So the rest, you know. <laughs> what about the peers? What, what about the peers? Uh, the, uh, uh, the agency has set up a, a, a list which they have to push to the governor, and he will mm. decide what he wants to do, mm. etc. But, yeah. but yeah, we we were monitoring all this. Absolutely. But going back to his question, again, we don't really control who's on the mm. social media. Sure. Minister. Sure. I think I think if I was to make an excuse or, or some form of uh, excuse, if you like, when the governor announced that they want to make social register, the social register is a national one and a state one combined together. I think most people did not see the need mm. to try to get on. Absolutely. Okay. But this food voucher has now you know, made a need. And mm. perhaps when they go for a much more bigger update, a lot mm. of people will want to. Absolutely. So I can understand why it's not on the register. register. Mm. But again, we don't decide to get rice beans or whatever. And you are, are you are never sure with this governor mm. when it comes up again yeah. after uh, food. Mm. Yeah. After food, it yeah, might be something exactly. bigger. Exactly. This caller, you are causing commotion in the house. The Lord himself be there right here, right here on Rice and Shine. Can you just shift away from your device hello welcome to the program your name where you're calling from 
Please okay. Do. okay. So please, just just for emphasis, once you want to put a call across to us, make sure you turn down the volume of your TV or radio set. Or walk away from it completely so we don't get to have the... Or even um, strangle the, the volume <laughs> and kill it and bury it. We don't need it. You listen to it on your device. <laughs> All right. Um, back to you, Doctor. A lot has been said. And yeah. I'm, I, I was expecting a matter to actually call in. Mm -hmm. He's a, a regular caller. And mm -hmm. issues in matters of this nature. Yeah, mm -hmm. peculiar. So um, let's come down a little bit. I, I know that the governor talked about punishment for mm -hmm. the, the, the essays. And, and that is my biggest worry. Because oftentimes, it is not the governors that fail. It is the actions of the people, people he has entrusted. Yeah. And in yeah, this case, especially the food voucher, for instance, for us to succeed, yeah. we need people who are working with the governor to be Hello. sincere to the court. Francis. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to Rise and Shine. Yeah, let me know where you're calling from. Hello, we can hear you. Hello. Okay, okay. Francis, go ahead. Okay. Well, We're so just so having some um, serious technical e e um, issues here and there. So we so apologize, but keep trying. Okay. So, um, Doctor, going forward, um, are there things that you can do? Mm -hmm you know, to prevent this even taking place in the first place through ICT. And secondly, this governor being so graceful, mm. so all the time grace, 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 forgiveness, God, mm. humility, can he punish anybody? Ooh, I like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I, honestly, I think it does. And most people, most people will punish when you go wrong. I don't think that's anything to do with grace. You know, when you deliberately... You know, want to scam and, and reap what you do not. So I think I think you need to be punished. Okay, okay. the Francis okay. question. The Francis okay. question. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, I, uh, while you were asking, I'm just thinking in my head: uh, How do you manage Stop this. people's Absolutely. ability mm. to mm. punish? Mm. You know, you can just be a softy and hope that is the best. I mean, I'll tell you what: uh, what this guy is doing. Uh, perhaps they know, uh, perhaps they don't. We have, like I mentioned before, we've got about ten persons, you know, doing different things to yeah. look at the system. The governors initially released quite a lot of money to go into this, you know, whether that, that's the fact and that's the truth. And what we don't want is people scamming government and, and aggressively. Yeah. So we have people looking at, I mean, we're assuming that you will do it. You're assuming, that's why we built this up to build it. Mm. You know, we're assuming that we, you will do this. I mean, for example, even the login details, we, we call to change that every now and then, you know. It's not like if even if you take the tablet, what would you see? The tops you will see, even if you can masquerade and log in, it's just the people on the register and what they've gotten. That's it. That's a separate system from the payment system. Mm -hmm. But we've put measures in place. Even the QR codes you see on the on the vouchers, if you scan them, they're gibberish. They mm -hmm. just show you numbers mm -hmm. that make no sense. Mm -hmm. But our systems have an encryption yeah. key, somewhere that decodes so, that yeah. and makes sure. So we, we have to do all these bits and bits, but people don't know it, just to make sure that we can protect the system. But I think that's the best we can do. But in terms yeah. of protecting and of forcing an individual to do right, it's a tough call. And perhaps no software has been able to do that. Yet. Okay, Hello. doctor. Thank you. Let's let's take this call. Good morning. Welcome to Rise and Shine. Your name and where you're calling us from. Um, my name is Chidubem. I'm from River State. Chidubem from Rivers. Go ahead. Okay, so I don't live in a my own state, but I always watch Spectrum regularly, and I like. The good job that Governor Umu and the thing in Aquaro State. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm 14 years. You what? So, I think you guys congratulate because it's not easy. Most of them just like pocket the money and steal them. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very so much. Just keep it up. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Chidabam. We appreciate you. You, you know, um, Doc. I thought it's it would take a certain level of integrity for you to work at that level of your life. Mm. Because being PA to governor, well, I don't know. Um, in a state where people are always uh, entitled to more, mm. you understand? But I thought being PA to governor is such an honorable thing. Exactly. You cannot be a thief. You, yeah. cannot, be, you cannot take what belongs to the poor. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, to be so, honest, it's a cost. Is, it, it, absolutely. It's a cost. Is this being viewed yeah. that seriously? In that uh, I mean, can, can I say this? And, 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 uh, they're really good PA, what PA to the government. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, they're very absolutely. passionate ones I've seen. Yeah. The people that, 
you see that share my my mentality my mentality is simple i mean when someone tells me pick this thing and drop there i'm mm. thankful absolutely i'm super thankful because i don't know what i'll be doing if mm. i wasn't picking that so so there are a lot of people that share that mentality you know that understand that there are other people out there that perhaps could do a better job you know you see that but as you can imagine you know there's always the few that things that you know what we need to get rich quicker we need to blow we need to do this mm. and then they do all these manner of things and, and you will see that but that's not what you can control but i think for me you know if i was to read this you know scale of one to ten i think we've got a seven seven in the sense that food has got to people that really need it and then for me that's a big story the, the other three or thirty percent you know what do you do with it we just need to try and improve it and improve yeah, it and improve yeah. it and we can bring that up this caller Hello, many thanks for joining us. Your name, where you calling from? Hello? Your name, where you calling from, please? We're having some technical troubles again. You said there was okay. a question that I asked. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's yeah, a question you... that I asked about, uh, about um, the ability of this governor to replicate. Um, is, it, is it the primary school? Is it the health yeah. center? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Is it not too much? Can, do you think he can do it? What else do you need to prove it? Let's done it. So you can do it again. No, but can, you, can, you, can you replicate it? Yeah. That's the question. That, yeah. That's the yeah. biggest concern. Yeah. Yeah. Implications of most, most especially degrees homes in other local governments. It's, could there be a replication of all this? I, I know process. the governor talked about it. Yeah. You know, he talked about 18 currently. I, I think 18, if, I, if I'm correct, yeah. currently still uh, um, uh, ongoing in, construction. In, in the works. Yeah. In, in, yeah. So, but the concern is. Can we have it across across the thirty one thirty one local government areas? Perhaps not across, but he's able to replicate it as as the demand is and as his policy detects it. Perhaps not every local government will get one, but every local government, as you can see, every ward is touched, every every local government would definitely be touched. There are few, you know, I'm not just I don't think it's fair that that comes from my mouth. You know, there's few that is just nicer when it comes from the chief executive to say them. So mm. I have no mm. doubt. Zero doubt. Mm. I'll tell you what. You know, if you know the story very well in the Bible, uh, Lord, 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 they say you call me Lord down because you've seen what I've done. Mm. That's the case. We've seen what it's done. Mm. So because we're going to do more. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. problem with that, uh, mm. Doc, is that you use your first year, instead of just um, doing small, 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 you go, boom. So the second year, we're expecting, boom, boom. Ten years, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I, I tell you what, you're getting booms and booms and booms. That's, that's, that's the plan. That is the plan. You know, we're always going to be here. If he doesn't do that, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Uh, we'll show, show him. I'll tell you what. I mean, you know what? Yeah, the guy, and whether we like it or not, you see, we talk about the environment. God has created an environment mm. that he, mm. can, he can just keep achieving. I'll tell you that. And what we have to do is just support him. I'll mm. tell you that. Just support him. And, and you know, the things is done to create that enabling environment, whether it's political, I think that is yeah. magical. Yeah. That you you magical. just went there. Yeah. Let's stay there. Political. Yeah. What manner of politician is this one? He goes to the opposition's uh, home, the home of the opposition. He goes to this one. Everyone is eating with, is dining with. It is good politics, even for a non politician like you. Yeah. I think that's the way to do it. This is how you would have played your own politics. Because I don't, I don't do politics. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do politics. I do, you I just do ICT. ICT. Yeah. You just, but you're working for a politician right now. Doing ICT? ICT. <laughs> Political ICT. <laughs> Political ICT. <laughs> yeah. Politician doing ICT. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, if there's anything I'm good at, I, I like I like looking at the narrow part. You mm. know, and just, that's the goal, right? Let's yeah. go. You know, I, I refuse to get involved in all sorts. I'll tell you that. My, my energy is channeled towards that. That's what I have to do. No, I, I was more concerned when we talked about, I mean, um, the, the, the food voucher and, yeah. and the peers. What we want to ask, what are the criteria in getting these peers, in you know, mm. appointing the peers? What criteria do they have to go through? In getting it's half past the hour in the Biaku run, by the way. Yeah, so oh, I uh, we should be around in this office. office. I thought you were going to have time. Yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> what are the criteria? He's a stakeholder. He knows better than uh, I do. I, I do not know. <laughs> 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 Oh, he's there looking at me again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Dan Chris, take one minute before we round off. Uh, oh, I like that stay. That, Dan! <laughs> We're it. having some problems yeah, with being turned yeah, upside yeah, down, yeah, yeah. turning out that. I mean, he's been so harsh, you can yeah. turn him upside down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take one minute before we round off, bro. 
I wanted to find out if you can hear me in the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm you can. Um, I wanted to ask him uh, if that plant have free internet installed in the state or so. Uh, yeah. Or, you know, just like we have abroad, is it possible that we have that? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, bye. Yes. Should I answer? Ignoring, of course. Ignoring? <laughs> 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 See, there's nothing that's free. I think you start from there. And, and even the ones you mention abroad, if you arrive at any airport, you get, you know, yeah, there's some free ones, but they can't be loaded with adverts. Mm, so yeah, sure it's sure it's not free. Mm. Yeah, but, but the plan is simple. Oh, thank God for the timing for main one to bring that cable landing to even another eight months. We've got huge internet capacity passing through our tribal and obviously staying in our tribal. They, um, as part of the agreement, the government has uh, an agreement with Men One to provide internet connectivity and light it up. Places like the airport, the library, or Ibo Blade, mm -hmm. a civil service, you know, a state secretariat, extension secretariat. I've mentioned them. Government mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. Ooh, mm -hmm. DSS, you know, mm -hmm. uh, police, you know, Very which is huge. You know, so it's going to lead this thing up and, and the office of the governor in line with, you know, uh, would the ministries, relevant ministries, will manage this? That's yeah. big. That for me, that is big. I mean, for example, if you go to the see to the to the state secretariat now, different ministries, or even within one ministry, you see different internet providers. You yeah. know, that, that's not going to happen again. Yeah. This comes. So everything yeah. will be streamlined. Yeah. So Dan, thanks for the question because it allows us talks about this. But but that is the intention and that is the plan. Can we make it free? The airport, for example, yeah. you get some free. The travel, I mean, the new Udomi Manuel Boulevard Road would have some connectivity. So as you travel from the airport, airport into Yo, you would have some connectivity free. You know, when we get there, we'll look at the dynamics, you know, how free and what is not free. I mm. think we'll talk about that, but it's a very good question. Okay, gentlemen, we've got to go. Um, I'll begin the last round of questions yeah. by asking um, Dr. Frank Udoi Peyon, the SSA to Governor Moino of Akwa Ibom State on ICT and Digital Services. What's been of the of the entertainment, uh, excuse me, of the achievement bouquet of this governor the last 12 months? What's been the it for you? Which one is the one that gives you the kick? And what are you really looking forward? What one particular thing are you looking forward to in the next 12 months? Oof. Yeah, I mean, this is this is interesting. It's almost like leaving a child in a cookie shop, right? Mm. Tough one to pick, really tough one. I, I think for me, it's the Arise Compassionate Homes. There's mm. nothing I see today, don't get me wrong. But, but the fact that, talking about grace again, you need to see these people the way they appreciate this. Mm. It's huge. And perhaps the biggest one for me is the Uget Lady, the youth copper. Mm. You know, whew, I'll tell you what. And for me, that, that's big. That, that's huge. That's huge. I mean, for someone to, to get that kind of, you know, gift and for the governor to even think or imagine it, you know, then get it done. And that lady now has got a job in the cross of civil service, yeah. other senators want to help, etc. I think it's just put that in the limelight. For me, that's big. And obviously, bring that home to the rise compassionate one. That's also huge. But then, obviously, the football to steam. For people that have actually received this, you know, I think it also helps. That That's a big one. And looking out for the future hard look is simple i think it's just going to be more of this i think it's going to be more of this it's been well motivated i don't think people thought this was possible yeah. you know the fact that he's been here he wants to remain here perhaps go about this this what is achieved so we're looking forward to it okay yeah. um my, my last question would yeah. be for you to speak to a quite <laughs> Quiet people, especially the younger, yeah. um, the Gen Zs, yeah. you know, the younger generation, yeah. and everybody who has passed to mm -hmm. be, uh, get involved in tech. Mm -hmm. This get rich quick syndrome brought into tech is mm -hmm. another um, time bomb for me, mm -hmm. tickling, because everybody wants to get into it. Mm -hmm. So I, I just need for you to speak, you know, some senses yeah. to the minds of those people. Yeah. Uh, for me, the only sense you need to have just make sure you're passionate about it. You know, and, and be patient. There's no need to rush. If it doesn't work, do it again. Try it again. And keep trying. And those things that don't work, that's what we call experience. And that's what people pay for. That's as simple as that. And what about the don't quit, uh, the get the quick, quick, the ones that they use quick, evil quick. means? That's what you're speaking uh, to. No, no. I mean, uh, I, that, that's a tough one because I think if you just need to do something, you know, do something with your hands, and, and that never works. It, it might look like it works, maybe perhaps you see people, but do something. Mm. What about evil things? Okay, 
for instance, that's what he was to, that's your question, yeah, right? That, that's, about uh, the guys who want, who to, want use to use ICT, ICT for, to do people. The young, young boys. Uh, no, that's not what it's intended for. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, this is. Uh, just five years ago, you could say that I was getting away with it and one, but now the, the, the world is a global village. You know, you sit in your homes, you send an email, if I'm interested, I mean, me being EFCC, me being mm. police, if I'm interested, I can know where you sat to, to, mm. you know, to send Absolutely. that. So the world is a global village. People are now, we can understand who does what where. So that alone should just deter you and make you not try that. But, but for, for me, any young person out there, do something. Do something with your hands profitable. Don't be in a hurry. That's the key word. Don't be in a hurry, I'll tell you that. I have spent hours, I'm not making it up, hours, 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 hours in researching and doing things and doing things. I can't be letting this thing now. You must know that. You know, I would have done it before and this is just perhaps, you know, when you're finally yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So, yeah. Okay. You mean, we've got to go. Yeah. This is your second year. You're starting the second year. What should we look forward to yeah. from your office? Oh, just just ensure that what the governor wants to do, that's got an ICT capability, we do it right and do it. You know, it's a fact with integrity and do it and to make sure that the governor will be and crowd will benefit from his policies. Okay, it's a fine place to leave it. It's uh, the last day uh, for me on this set, and <laughs> it will be uh, one of my last guests on <laughs> on, on air. And it's good that I brought him, my friend, my brother. Dr. Frank Udoy Um Okay, you, you want to chip in something the last uh, minute? we got to go. Uh, Dan, Chris. Um, I wish him well. Uh, I'm hoping that um, his department will do more for the things he said. We can have people, you know, of the states and all devices that will be changed to our private people. So I wish you well the next one year. I think we come back for the next one and we show you something important for us to talk about. Okay, so thank you. Dan Chris, Dan Chris CBA is a Nollywood actor and director. And it was very nice to see you. Thank you for staying tuned with us, Dr. Frank. Thank you. For your many thanks for having come. SSA to Governor Umo in of Akwaibum State on ICT and Digital Services. So was here to discuss the yesterday, the today, and if you like, the next 12 months, the future of this administration and what a value he added as always. Uh, Francis, Edet, and uh, Ime, Imano, join me, Michael Bush, to thank you for taking the trouble to come. How did you find the road, by the way? Oh, I mean, amazing. Super. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the most, ah, the most the amazing road. Yeah. It was Africa. Yes. Yes. It was yes. amazing. Yeah, we have to speak it out, right? Speaking in faith. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And I hope you go back with the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> some pictures back to government house. Yes. Uh, particularly, NDDC is doing something. For yes, NDDC is doing something yeah. in that to connect yeah. uh, E2 and all one local government yeah. areas. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the state government too is doing this one. Yeah. The one yeah. Did, uh, that, well, what can I just say, Spectrum TV, you guys, you know, fantastic. Yeah, you, know, sure. thank, thank, you know, thank you for the initiative yeah, sure. to just, you know, take this message to, mm. to people who I, I think it's great. Thank you. Media is big now. Yes. Thank you so much. Not just Spectrum, also yeah. thank Planet. Thank, thanks you. Planet, mm. thanks you. Oh, yeah. Even Bush. Mm. Uh, and for me, uh, this is a topic for another day. Mm. You know, when I get to sit in this chair and ask questions, I have some difficult questions. One of them, <laughs> I mean, we, we, we what is happening with social media? media yes. You know, how do you still see a need for a TV station? It's amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Because with all due respect, you know, for you guys down in infrastructure, yeah, I could perhaps sit at home and have my TV channel. Why not? I have a YouTube channel, you know, and all that. So, so interesting concept. How do you how do you find that balance? How do you see the need for a TV channel when you are social media that just breaks all these barriers. And, I, and, I, and I'll answer that question. <laughs> right? You answer, no. <laughs> I'll answer. I'll answer. I'll answer. <laughs> if one of us finishes off, you know, uh, no matter what we do, yeah. as far as the internet is concerned, you can only innovate. Mm. Radio, we have podcasts now, yeah. for instance, yeah. TV, we have yeah. YouTube and all of that. But you can never take away the place of TV and the radio, the traditional TV and radio that we all, whether it's cable or it's terrestrial, whatever the case is. Yeah. It's just like when, you know, radio came on board, everybody felt like um, newspapers are yeah. going to go extinct. Yeah. But today we still have newspapers. Absolutely. Newspaper innovated. We now have e-copies yeah. on, on, on the internet. So yeah. it's, it's always going to be a collaborative effort as far as the media space is concerned. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah just to also add, yes, 
what you said, everything correct. But something even correcter is that. Um, is that a word? Yes, <laughs> he's Bush. Uh, he's Bush. Uh, uh, he's the boss. I have my, uh, uh, my poetic license. Yeah, poetic license. Oh, so you can be handsome. The, 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 the young people watching. So Absolutely. Handsome. You quote when you no, 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 no. You do the Bush no, thing. no quote. Correct English. <laughs> correct English. No, yes, that's the truth. It's correct mm. English. The law, the law for that, and it's very good that it's pointed that out yeah. because sometimes you say some of these things. There is no way. After 31 years, I would come on air and play with any word. No, no way. I would never do that. Because I realized this is a school. This yes. is even a better school yeah. than radio, TV. They're supposed to be schools and newspapers. You should not read them or watch them or listen to them and find them in one era. Yeah. So, um, corrector, handsome, those words exist. You can be more handsome. You can be handsomer, you know, if you really know the language. And that because uh, it's just like saying, I'm contented. Yeah. Uh, that's also correct, but that is kind of uh, gotten, you know, the right thing is I'm content, yeah, yeah. you know, so but back to it, the law says if it's more than two syllables before you use more, that from two or more syllables can you use this from one or more uh, or two syllables you can use ER, do you understand, you know in those uh, comparisons, and we're looking for English teachers, absolutely, yeah sure I'm, I'm here I'm here. I can. I can. I can help. Um, <laughs> yeah, what was the question? No. Okay. So yeah. yes, the thing about radio and TV, um, it's just like. So I see a guy. Just as I said, I see a guy. I say, say, tech guy. He's good. Say, young guy. I look at him. He's twenty-two. He has his out of the university, and then you give me a doctor, Frank Goodall. You think I would go for the social media twenty-two year old? No, I would go for this other one. Do you understand? So it's the same thing. Social media and the traditional media, they are not in the same league. Mm -hmm. For instance, there are millions of Nigerians. We have, I hear, 240 million people now in this country. I can tell you that perhaps, um, only perhaps 50 million or 70 million are on social media. I can tell you that for free. For instance, my mom, my mother is not on social media, would never be, <laughs> for obvious reasons. She, yeah. she can't read anything. She yeah. doesn't understand though. But she cannot miss radio. She cannot miss TV. Because even when you speak the English, she may not understand English, but she still understands what you say. Sometimes you even speak Ibibio. She, she grabs it and all of that. So that's number one. Number two is that in terms of integrity, social media hardly pass integrity tests. Okay. Radio, television, every day you pass. You cannot come here and speak rubbish just now it called me to order but if you get onto social media people are just writing <laughs> yeah. stuff like that and, all that. and they're even lying yeah. they're carrying falsehood you mm -hmm. know and all of that with radio television will not do that because nbc will call it to order yeah. you know so that's why one is um in class um one f the other is in class 10a yeah. <laughs> and always an f now one f of course <laughs> Social media, of course. <laughs> Social media. And would be there for a long time. One ever. Okay, so we, we've got to go. It yeah. was very nice having Thank you. You, so you know, this is why you should come. And we would like to do some stuff with your office for as long as I am here um, to be able to push the thing because you have a way. You have a way you do stuff. By the way, the governor announced, yeah, let me just finish that. Uh, you have a way that you do stuff that I think is people centric. And people receive what you do with love, yeah. you know, probably because you yourself carry love. But yeah. then, but the governor read, um, announced something on the 29th of May, during yeah. the anniversary, yeah. about um, Aqua GIS. Yes, yeah, it will be launched. Yeah. 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 yeah, it will be. What's that? What's, yeah. what's coming back? What's, what's going on? Is that phase two? No, no, you know, you know that program has not really been launched Absolutely. and owned by the ministry. Oh. So that, that's where we are. Oh. You know, that's what it meant. Wait, wait, are you, is there a date? No. No, not yet. At least yeah, but remember, it has to happen here first. Yeah. Everything would be here. Yeah. So if we, we put that. That's fine. And of course, yeah. you're speaking to your consultants, you know yeah. that. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Frank uh, Udoi Penyong, nice, fantastic gentleman. I didn't quite prepare him the way I set out because Grace overtook uh, him. Yeah. And on set, and it was very nice having you. Many, many thanks for coming, Thank and then so wish you well. About time we left you Thank to you so go much. home and continue working for our governor.